Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do something a little different than normal. A top 10 list of the most prolific SCP authors on the SCP Wiki. Let's get started. Now our number 10 slot is taken up by a user called Communism Will Win, and it, he is, I think, unless I am mistaken, the only user on the top 10 list who is actually banned from the SCP Wiki currently. I say currently because permanent bans are appealable, though this one doesn't really seem like it's ever going to be appealed successfully. Communism Will Win is probably better known as Scantron. Uh, he changed his name sometime in the last couple of years, maybe a few years. Actually, it would have to be a few years because he's been banned for almost a year and a half at this point. But yeah, he changed his name sometime in the last few years to Communism Will Win. I believe it was a political statement. It's not ironic. Um, from what I know of the feller, he is an individual who suffers fools lightly, we'll say, and because of that has gotten in trouble numerous times with uh, SCP staff. The thing you gotta understand about SCP staff is they will put up with the most outrageous of behaviors for a very long time if they like you or if you're useful, but the moment they don't need you or they don't like you anymore because of something you've done, those behaviors become less acceptable. And so Scantron, well, he was a jerk for a very long time, uh, and then he left staff and got banned, and then he appealed his ban, and he came back, posted for a while, I think maybe a year, year and a half, and then he was a jerk too often and got himself banned again permanently. You can look right here. I'm going to put up an image on the screen. You can see his... Uh, uh, we'll call it his upvote total as it increases over time. His most popular article was written in 2012, and it is The Procrastination Rock. And it is, as of this, well, as of this posting anyway, the third most popular article on the SCP Wiki. There's a couple of other articles you may recognize of his. Um, SCP-2602, which used to be a library, and Bees, which is the source of so many memes. He also wrote the Yellowstone Anomaly, the Telekill Alloy. He's behind, obviously, Scantron's proposal. Uh, there's a few. Uh, there's a few things on here that you uh, might recognize. But the important thing to recall about this particular user is there's likely that he's going to fall off the top ten sometime soon. There's people a nipping at his heels, I'm sure. Let's see who's coming up next. We'll give us. We'll, we'll do. We'll go through a couple honorable mentions before we move on here. Yeah. Uncle Nicolini is very active. Dr. Chandra's been banned. Zen is off and on, hot and cold. Famine Pulse is left. So yeah, our top 15 is either, really it's just Nicolini or Zen. And I would put my money on Nicolini if I had money to bet. So yeah, that. We'll move on from communism will win to one of the most important founders of the SCP Wiki. Not necessarily a founder founder, but someone who was incredibly influential for a very long time early on on the site, and that is Alana. Now, I will say, uh, Alana's first post goes back to 2008, early, 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 so yeah, I would consider her to be one of the uh, initial founders of the site, actually. Yep. However, her time on the site ended in 2014, very shortly after I actually started posting on the wiki. Um... I actually know Alana, or well, knew Alana, before she was uh, part of the SCP Wiki back in the early 2000s because she created and ran a web browser game called TDZK, which is not really super important, but uh, the person I remember from 2000, the early 2000s and the person that I encountered in 2012, 2014, because I actually joined the Wiki in 2012, uh, were wildly different people. Uh, <laughs> Alana is another person who was incredibly harsh, and in 2014, when the SCP Wiki was finally starting to move away from that kind of harshness, she left the site. Somewhat permanently, actually. Um, the most popular thing that she's written is SCP-895, the camera disruption. Which is, it's, ah, it's from uh, Containment Breach. It's the coffin that if you have, uh, if you look at it on a video feed, it can cause you to have a heart attack and worse. 
Alana's article total is 115. And you will find, let me see here real quick, that she is, well, she's got other articles that are highly uh, rated. There's the observable time loop, which I believe is the one with the scientists. Yeah, it's the one with, I'm pretty sure it's the one with the scientists that are killed over and over again. Yep, that is it. Yep. That's one of her, that's one of her most calm, yep, yeah, and then she's got her own proposal. Everyone here has a fucking proposal except for what well, you'll see in a second. <laughs> uh, Alana is, was one of the drivers of the early Project Foundation, which is something uh, that the SCP Wiki has been trying to do for years and will probably never actually accomplish, but it's the idea that the uh, SCP Wiki can be hosted on its own independent website and not Wikidot. They've been trying it for literally almost a decade now. It's been a concept for almost 10 years straight. And at no point has it even come close to being a possibility. So every time you hear anyone say, well, Project Foundation's right around the corner, remember that they've been saying that for 10 years straight. So I'm just saying. Anyway, Alana left the site. Uh, she was behind the... She, Alana, oh, this is important. Alana is actually behind the theme of the site, the main theme of the site. So uh, that's a little, that's a little tidbit, sort of important. I don't know how much work altogether she did on it, but she's the one who's got her name signed to it. So, and now we're going to move on to number eight. Number eight is this guy, me. I have all as well as Alana, technically I've got one more article in here that's not showing. And at this, it, the, th the way the system works, if you're tied, it'll actually just randomly inter move you back and forth. At the current time of showing me is number eight, but I have an article that, that puts me at 116, not 115. For some reason, one of my translated uh, pieces that were one of the pieces that I helped translate and move to the wiki is sometimes credited to me and sometimes not. And in this particular uh, iteration of the list, it's not being credited to me, but in other iterations of this exact same list, it is, so I, I don't know. I consider myself to have 116 articles, which puts me one above Alana anyway. Regardless, uh, it may surprise some, I don't talk about it a lot. I do talk about myself being an author on the SCP Wiki, but it may surprise you to know that I am the eighth most prolific author on the SCP Wiki. Uh, and the one on this list that I know the most about. Uh, one thing I'll tell you, if you look at my chart here, um, you'll see that there's it, there's a lot of posting after, uh, let's say, in the early part of 2017, or no, I'm sorry, the early part of 2018, uh, and then from then on for the last two years, it's just been almost constant posting. Uh, but before that, there's a lot of a lot of gaps, and there's a good, good reason for that. And if you look behind the gaps, there's this, another period early on where I posted tons of articles in a row. This big area here where there's just a sparse collection of articles. And in fact, there's a, let's see, this one is, yeah, there's a whole six month period where I didn't post anything. Uh, it wasn't because I was banned, but simply because <laughs> I was working as SCP staff at the time. And boy, howdy, was I unaware of, I didn't, think about it until afterwards. I got uh, suspended in the early parts of 2018 and the amount of free time I found myself having was so amazing. I just, I, I think I spent two weeks on suspension and then was like, I'm done. I can, I can do without being staff. That's fine. <laughs> I, 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 I'm here to write for the SCP wiki, not to, not to do work for other people for no pay. So, uh, my most popular articles, I have, unlike most people on this list, I don't have a uber popular article. I do have uh, Fuck Off Carl, which is at plus 555. Well, this, this isn't exactly correct. This is actually uh, discounts a lot of upvotes. I think anyone who has a deleted account, a couple of people. Um, but I have, you know, I've got some decent stuff. I've got the SCP RPG, which is approaching 500. Uh, the Sumerian Cactus Joke Proposal, 431, uh, How I Got to Memphis at 402, everything below that, 300, 200, there's a bunch of 200s, actually. Let's just uh, look at the whole, well, I can't look at the whole list because it only shows 100. <laughs> but I have a lot of articles on here. That's always been kind of my thing, is just to keep 
posting articles. If you keep posting articles, you're bound to get hits every once in a while. And I don't know, a half to, uh, if you, if you count like a successful article is plus 70 or more, which is generally for most new authors, a pretty good uh, dividing line. Over half of my articles are above plus 70. Uh, it's, it's actually more than that, but uh, so my time on the wiki has actually been, uh, what's the best way to put it? Fraught with mischief and, uh, <laughs> and uh, a little bit more drama than I would like, but sometimes you can't get away from it. I don't want to be one of those people who's like, I hate drama because everyone hates drama. Even the people who love drama hate <laughs> drama. It always seems to find me anyway, so maybe it's just a, maybe it's me anyway. I have a policy generally, especially, well, since I left staff, I have a policy generally of at least two articles every month. Uh, this month I'm actually a bit behind, but I'm working on something. Uh, <laughs> if you can, you can actually see a little bit of a gap there, but uh, generally I, I consider it from month to month. So there's been a couple times where it's like, I might post on the first and the second, and then I might not post until the 31st of the next month. So there technically is like, 50 or 60, almost 60 days between the two postings, but still you do two per month. Um, that's just the way I try to, and if, if I get to the end of the month and I know I don't have something up, I post something. I try to write, so I sit down, force myself to write something and post it to the wiki. A lot of people will tell you my stuff has uh, declined in quality over the years, but I think that's bullshit. I think, uh, well, I think it's bullshit anyway. I think I can move on though. You know, you know about me. We'll talk about the next person on the list who has rocketed up to the top. Well, not up to the top, up to number uh, seven. Yeah, number seven. And that is Tan Honey. Uh, Tan Honey is the author of the new SCP-5000. So that is actually their currently their most popular article at thirteen hundred and fifteen. Uh, his second most popular article, something you may recognize, is the Bobble the Clown. Uh, then you got a hold to another place, Tanhoney's proposal, um, a couple other articles as well. You have no idea how alone you are, Garfield. I'm, I've I'm, I've seen memes of that. I've heard of it, but I don't think I've ever actually read it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's he's an he's an author of quite a few iconic SCPs, uh, which is the big difference between me on this list and most of the other people you're going to see. Almost every one of these other artic article authors is the author of something that's iconic. And while like Fuck Off Carl is very popular and maybe borderline iconic at this point, it's iconic amongst my community, especially on my Discord, um, I wouldn't really consider it com like an iconic SCP. And that's my most popular article. So it's always been a thing that I've been, I, <laughs> it's something I've been seeking out for a long time. This isn't about me anymore. <laughs> it's about Tan Honey. Tan Honey has a posting habit that is infuriating. So I would guarantee at a future point I will pass him, and then at some future point he will pass me because Tanhoney will, as you can see here, his path is super weird. Starting in late 2018, he started having what are essentially active phases where he would post, and then he would post like 30 things one a day and then he would just stop for months and then he would come back and he would do it again so while i do i'm just trucking along two at a, two articles at a time we've been competing back and forth for a while and right now he's five articles ahead but i think could be wrong just saying this out loud may end up changing that but i think he's at the end of his cycle so i've got some time to catch up and catching up to five articles is only three months worth of work and technically two more because I still have one article to do for this month. And it's almost over. So really it's only about two more months worth of work. Um, <laughs> which none of it matters. But you know what? You know what? Meaningless statistics matter to me a little bit. Please like and subscribe. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Tan Honey is, uh, is a good guy. Uh, I've talked to him a few times. Uh, I mean, I don't know him super well, but what I've encountered, what I've in interacted with him, he seems like a decent sort. Uh, and as far as I know, hasn't gotten in trouble with staff at all, which makes him different than everyone else so far. Let me see. Scantron, banned. Alana, constantly in trouble over her harshness and eventually left. 
probably at the point where she was close to being banned anyway. I've been censured by staff, suspended by staff, prevented from joining contests by staff. Yeah, Tanhoney is the first one on this list who hasn't gotten in trouble with staff. That's fantastic. And in fact, the only one I'm going to do today, because I only really have time for one more, uh, <laughs> the next person has been in trouble with staff. Uh, only person so far uh, on today's list who <laughs> hasn't gotten in trouble with staff. Maybe it's his long periods of inactivity that have <laughs> avoided this problem. Because, well, no, most people, I think, in the five to one category haven't really been in too much trouble with staff. Well, anyway, let's move on to the last one before we run out of time here. Dijoric or Joric. It's really hard for me to know exactly how this should be pronounced since it's just sort of a made up word. We'll go with Jork. I think I've always pronounced it de Jork, but now that I'm saying it out loud to like a camera, I'm thinking it's just Jork. Anyway, uh, Jork has, oh, what's the best way to put this? Oh, man. Jork is not as harsh a critic as he's made out to be. But every once in a while, maybe when he's mad, maybe I don't know what the what causes it, but every once in a while, he just goes off on someone new who doesn't know any better in a way that makes it very unlikely that that person will want to stay on the site. And that usually gets him in a lot of trouble. Uh, he has gotten in trouble with staff numerous times. I believe he has independently left the site without being banned, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, Jorick's most popular works are 1860 he doesn't have any like super popular stuff but he does have oh oh I'm, I'm missing this one he does have an iconic piece lord blackwood i forgot about this one and it was, it was called 18 it's 1867 a gentleman but i actually forgot that this is actually incredibly popular and then we've got 10:30 a.m i believe it's a shark punching center thing Okay, so we've got uh, Lord Blackwood and a Shark Punching Center article at 890 and 708. Uh, those are his two most popular, and I would, con I would consider Lord Blackwood to be an iconic SCP. Most, if you're, not, maybe not most off-site people, but I definitely would think most on-site people are aware, at least aware of Lord Blackwood. The slug that uh, it believes it's a... 1800s Explorer. I've, it's been a really long time since I read that article. Unfortunately, though, Jorik hasn't posted an article since uh, 20, mid-2018, and it doesn't seem likely that he'll come back, though he has in the past come back. So he is either, he's, he's inactive from the site. And one thing you're going to learn as we go to the other, the rest of the top five in the next video, because this is already incredibly long, uh, but when we get to five through one, you're going to learn that um, at least two of those are also either inactive or just so sporadically active that the likelihood is they're going to get passed as well. Uh, that's where most of these people on this list are going to fall. You've got Communism Will Win, Alana, and Jorik, who are just not posting anymore. But you've got me and Tanhoney fighting back and forth for you know slots. And as we fight back and forth for slots, we're moving up the list past these people. So <laughs> it's generally how that goes. I actually thought, um, again, honorable mention to Dr. Chandra. I thought Dr. Chandra was going to beat me out, but unfortunately uh, they have uh, not been able to get there because they got themselves banned from the wiki for, was it a plagiarism thing? I think it was plagiarism. Don't quote me on that. I would, oh, I do remember it was a plagiarism charge, but it was a bit more complicated than that. That's a whole video in and of itself. It, it's complicated, definitely. The important thing to remember here though, let's talk about the averages of these five people and you'll, you'll see something very important uh, about the guy who doesn't have an iconic SCP. So if we rank these five people by their averages, you will find me at the bottom. Uh, in fact, I believe by average, which I don't really care too much for because like, it's pretty easy to get a shitty article to plus a thousand. <laughs> I'm sorry, especially if it's super old. And a lot of these people are super old users. But if you got go by rankings of just uh, rating on the SCP Wiki, I'm number 15 rather than number eight. Uh, 
because my average is 105.6 and my average, my total rating is 12,000. Looks like Jorik, yeah, Jorik would be next even though he's sixth because his rating average is 133. I don't put too much stock in total up. A lot of people do, especially the people who are ahead because of it. So like I look at articles and I consider, you know, the top 10 authors by most article count. But that's easy for me to do because that puts me in the top 10. If we looked at it by total votes, I'm like 15th, I think. And other people would be moved up into the list. So of course, other people put way more stock in total up votes. And in fact, I think our highest rated author would be Cactus, probably. Yeah. Of course, I chalk a lot of that up to just by not having an, a truly iconic SCP article, but I'm going to get there one day. It's only a matter of time. I can't. I, all I got to do is keep posting articles. Eventually, one of them's going to hit. That's just how it works. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and that loud ass vehicle outside, <laughs> you can. You can uh, scroll down, hit the subscribe button, and then the notification bell next to that so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Then, take a look at the, scroll through the products that we have on sale, we, that I have on sale, uh, on Teespring. They are high quality. I'm wearing the You're Wrong About This hoodie hoodie. We've got the You're Wrong About This poster poster. Somebody was asking about this poster. I really need to get a new design and replace it because this is just something I picked up at Walmart. Uh, anyway, maybe I should make something like this, but for me, that might be a good idea. I actually was thinking about something like a warning, uh, like a safety warning or a, you know, see something, say something sort of style poster, but SCP themed. Anyway, after you've done that, check out the products, like I said, and then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has. And join, let's double check our peoples here, probably a wizard and definitely not a scientist, and Manuel Noltorp as $40 backers to get your name read out loud. Or join on, at any level. Anything 30 or above, you'll get your name read out. But anything below that is incredibly helpful, gets you Discord benefits, some access to behind the scenes footage, uh, bloopers, variety of things. And my eternal thanks. Seriously, though. Thank you very much for letting me know that I'm not alone out here, and just for the record, neither are you. I'll see you all again on Tuesday.